Hi, I'm going to show you an overview of QuickScore. It's the first software product designed to automate the Balanced Scorecard Institute's nine steps to success. It's 100% web-based and above all, it's easy to use. So I'm going to log in here as Connor Crimmins. And the first screen it takes me to is the bookmark section. This is where you're going to do 90% of your work in the application. Uh, I've got you know my six or seven favorite screens uh, bookmarked and so with a simple click I can just you know, look at them rather than digging through the entire application. Uh, this is the welcome screen. You can show your corporate logo here and your administrator message. You can collapse if you don't like. Uh, I care about this metrics I own section. I own four metrics and one of them is, is red. Two are green and one's yellow and I care most about the red one. You can see its actual values for this current month which is August. Uh, I'm going to click on the red metric and drill down. And what this does is it takes me to the Parks and Recreation Department organization into the Parks and Recreation Department scorecard. And I can see that I'm currently performing red and that I've been hovering around the red area for a little while and it's right around December or November I, I took a sharp drop off. If you want to see more historic information just click the slider and when you let it go it goes all the way back to May of 06 and you can see you know, the, the trend over time of this particular metric. On the performance measure info section I can see its name, a description, I can click and send the owner an email if I want to. Uh, it, it's just kind of a general overview screen. Um, well, let's go back to the bookmarks section. Another great piece of functionality in QuickScore is strategy maps. This is really important to balance scorecards and you can see at a glance uh, the general strategy how, how your company is doing. Uh, it looks here like I've got two objectives that are, are doing poorly. Um, this little arrow in the upper left hand corner means that it's trending downwards. Uh, it, it's lower now than it was in the previous period and its previous color was red. So let's click on the little trend arrow and it'll pop up a little trend and show you generally how things are doing. You can draw a trend line if you want. It looks like over the last year we're trending upwards, over the last month we're trending down. Um, and just like Anything else in the application, if you want to drill down, you can click on, on a particular object and, and drill down on it. And like before, we're, we're taking to, to more information what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, this shows both of the metrics underneath Enhance Workforce Retention and re Recruitment. And it looks, you know, you, these are percentages and you can, you know, drill down further and it takes you down one level and you can see, you know, the details for that particular thing. Now let's say I really like this screen and I want to add it to my bookmarks. Well, it's pretty simple. I click the Send To button and I can send this to Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, or, or Printer, or Email, a lot of different things. I'm going to choose Bookmarks. It's going to give a, a decent name. I'll click OK. And it's now been saved to my bookmarks. So when I go back to the bookmarks screen, here it is, right at the bottom. Uh, even though this is a web application, there's still it still behaves and acts like a normal uh, desktop application so you can click and drag these things wherever you want them to go let's say I want to go right up below the strategy map maybe and uh, it's you know now one of my bookmarks and if you want to delete it you just right click and choose delete so strategy maps are a great piece of functionality uh, if, if you're doing balanced scorecard you're gonna have a strategy map and and uh, quick score does wonderful things with them Similar uh, to the, the strategy maps, we've got dashboards where instead of just these little bubbles, you can really have a blank canvas and you can put all kinds of objects uh, from the system on, on one canvas here. Uh, this gives me at a glance, uh, I can see generally how Parks and Recreation is doing. Um, dashboards are pretty neat functionality, so I'm going to click the edit button and go into the dashboard section. And you can see each of these objects, it's, it's just like Microsoft PowerPoint. Each of these objects can be resized or moved and, and it's you know independently floating on a canvas. You can, oh, I don't know, we can change this to be a, a bar chart in addition to a line chart. And, and all this stuff is 100% is web-based. There's no plugins required for this and it's, and it's pretty exciting technology. Um, just add another speedometer here. It looks pretty ugly so we're not going to save. But, but you can see how very simply and quickly without additional training or anything like that you can create really attractive dashboards and so you can view all of your data the way you want to. Back to bookmarks again. Uh, 
the QuickScore software has, has really powerful reporting built in. Here's, here's a quick little report I wrote that shows you all the red performance measures for your county government. Uh, anything that's been read over the last four months. And so then, like always before, you can drill down. Uh, here's, here's another report. It shows four key metrics for financial. Uh, I care about financial perspective, um, as everybody else does. And, and here's some, some key metrics I can look at. Finally, uh, QuickScore supports tasks. Um, if a metric is performing poorly, uh, you, you can assign a task to improve its performance, or you can just track you know, general simple project management. You can, you can track uh, how, the, how a project proceeds over time. Here, I'm looking at all the tasks involved with delayed retirement program. And I can, with one click of a button, I can send an email to any assigned users. I can check to see if we're over budget. I can add dates to my calendar. All this stuff can be sorted you know, by due date or whatever. Um, it, it's, a, it's a pretty good piece of functionality because you can see exactly what's getting done and what isn't. So that's a really, really simple overview of QuickScore. It can do all kinds of great things. It can, it can make your organization run a lot smoother. But in general, that's... That this is what it does. It it collects all your data in one easy to find spot and then lets you report on it and view it at a glance so that you can get off the software and get to running your business or organization.